Well, all I can say is wow. Thank you all for giving me this experience. And Ken had been after me for some time to come visit. And I kept thinking to myself, what's so special about Woodland Hills? What's so special about Woodland Hills? Well, now I know what's so special about Woodland Hills. Um, what you do here really fits well with my civics education initiative because it's all about teaching these kids who they are and having them understand that they are important and that they have the potential and they can do whatever they set their mind to do and so often our students come from environments that don't do that that aren't supportive and we need that nurturing and that support and that yes you can um, attitude that I've just seen here which is fantastic um, I love the outdoor adventure concept. And I could just, I mean, sitting there looking at these kids, I could just kind of go back to, you know, a couple years ago and just see them probably awash, um, hanging with the same friends they always knew, not wanting to break that barrier to say hello to the guy who looked a little different from them or the girl who looked a little different from them, and yet from this experience. Um, and then the kids, uh, you know, working on the iPods. Um, part of my civics education initiative has resulted in lawyers going into schools in Philadelphia and in Harrisburg. We call it the ACE program, um, Advancing Citizenship Education or Civics Education. And we go into schools 7th um, and 8th grade in Harrisburg and ninth grade in Philadelphia. And lawyers go in uh, only one day a month to teach a class. But this one day I observed in Harrisburg um, and the exercise was students, four students were running for president and they had platforms. And so all the students had to vote for who they wanted to be the president. And the one who, um, who won had a platform that was all around getting the rule breakers out of their classes and controlling the rule breakers after school. Because the rule breakers were ruining the environment for the children. And I came away, you know, this is supposed to be a lesson in civics. Um, I came away with this horrible feeling that we control the school environment. And we, we, you, determine the learning environment for those kids. And these kids in this school were in a learning environment that wasn't conducive. And 98% of them were, were kids who wanted to learn, but they were being prevented from learning by the school's inability to deal with this problem. And listening to the superintendent this morning uh, about every child who comes here will be in a learning environment. Every child who puts his or her head on the pillow in this district can come to the academy, have the opportunity. Every child. And what you're doing here is making that learning environment conducive for every student. And that's, that's what it's all about. So I commend you. Um, it is special. <laughs> it really is. And I love your, your, your permitting yourself to dream all of these goals. I mean, if we don't have the goals, we never have a chance of achieving them because we don't know they're there and we don't care. But if we have the goals and that's we set our sights high, um, I saw that in the eyes of the mock trial kids, and I really think they're going to do it. Uh, and the football player, you know, one loss, well, whatever. It was a bad day. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, they have their sights set, and that's what we need. And they, we need to set their sights and give every one of them the knowledge, and they look in the mirror that they, it's, it's them. It's not the other guy. It's not some privileged kids. It's not the kids who have gotten A's before. They can do that. Uh, and you're giving each of them that opportunity is huge. So on behalf of the governor, um, and I've been working with the Department of Education a lot also, um, we've developed a lot of frameworks for education, specifically civics education, um, the school aligned systems, you know, I think is something that I hope people are making use of. Um, but I just think there's so much we're doing in education and so much we can do because each of you are taking it so seriously. So thank you very much and thank you again, Senator, for coming. It's really wonderful to, to see you here and, and take the time to, uh, to come and, uh, and visit. So thank you. And Ken, thank you for introducing me to this great school. And as I said to the mayor, once you've been a mayor, you can do anything. And the, and the worst thing is you realize you can do anything. I know, believe me, I live with one.
<laughs> uh, former mayor. Yes. <laughs> you know, Ken Gormley was once my mayor. Oh, really? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, yes, he was, the, he was the mayor of Forest Hills. I'm, I'm sure yes, it's Jay was my constituent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Well, okay. we want to. Mr. Mayor. We're so uh, appreciative of your visit, and we want to send you away uh, with more than just your memories. Oh, wonderful. So we do have a binder here with um, this is our oh, arts magazine. Yes. Perfect. And I have other ones for you. So oh, it does. Yes. <gasps> Number one magazine in the country. Yes, it's won the Columbia Gold Medal. Oh, yes. so, and, and then these are back issues of our community magazine. It tells you um, a lot about not just uh, the school district, but all of our boroughs. And, um, and a little token oh, yeah, of, our, of our deep appreciation. Thank you, thank thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you all. Very, very, it's a very special day. <laughs>